Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. Today, indeed, has been very dramatic, as um, Usurudu's inauguration has, you know, come with so much drama and twist. But finally, Usurudu have decided to make his inaugural speech, and is actually calling out on stakeholders, including the Indigenous Group of Biafra, Mazin Nikano. IPOB and is actually giving them a challenge. I hope and pray that they will pick up that challenge and see how it moves on. Well, according to him, it's time to do the needful. Before we go into the news proper, I would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. What security and the well being of the number of people. And society was at the forefront of Charles Sorudo's mind during his swearing in ceremony on Thursday. Sorudo was sworn in as the fifth governor of Anambra State in a modest event that took place at the government house Oka, the state capital. According to the news, the former Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN governor, who took over from Willie Obiano, took the oath of office together with his deputy, Onye Kaibezin. In his speech, enumerating how to ensure rapid development drive within the state and the region, Soruda explained the importance of security in order to drive investment. According to him, this can only be achieved by ensuring all stakeholders are on board regarding the agenda while questioning the motives of secessionist agitation such as the indigenous people of Biafra and its military arm, the Eastern Security Network, that's ESN. IPAB, which is Indigenous People of Biafra, a secessionist group pushing for the creation of an independent state of Biafra, has been accused of being responsible for the deadly attacks in the Southeast and also in South South. Nnamdekano, who is the leader of the group, has been in the custody of Nigerian Security, Nigerian Secret Police DSS, is facing trial for treason. In order to unveil the rationale for its repeated attack, Soludo said, and I quote him, it is time to interrogate the purpose of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and the Eastern Security Network. The politicians using it as a means must come out in order for a consensus regarding our future. The conspiracy of silence by stakeholders must stop. I challenged the group denying the killings to come out and work with my administration in order to ensure peace and security in the state. We need Nigeria and Nigeria needs us. With our numbers and resources in the diaspora, we don't need to leave and we will take the various agitations to the federal government in order to resolve the disagreement with justice. I am convinced that peace will return to the state. Soludo also appealed for peace while reiterating the need for dialogue despite the anger of the joint body of Southeast Council of traditional rulers and representatives of Igbo archbishops and bishops who expressed displeasure over the handling of insecurity in the Southeast. According to them, in a March 7 communique, the presidency failed to seek dialogue as a means to end insecurity in the region. They also faulted governors from the region for refusing to honor calls for dialogue. I appeal to the Joint Council of Traditional Rulers, the Southeast Governors, and the Presidency to look at the suggestions in the March 7 tripartite discussions regarding the Indigenous People of Biafra, ESN, that's Eastern Security Network. This is necessary for peace, Soludo said. A lot of persons have been reacting to what he said. It makes a lot of sense if you ask me, quite a lot of sense, uh, having, you know, gone through quite a lot. Now that he's on the helms of affair, of course, nobody wants to hear things like UGM and all that. So he's trying to like, look, guys, we can do this together. Let's begin to work as a thing. Let's work, let's feel the pause on Nigerians. So a lot of persons are reacting to his inaugural speech, quite a, an interesting one, challenging those behind IPB agitations, those behind the insecurity, politicians using tools 
you know of um, insecurity to you know cause a lot of mayhem say look let's all come together and work work it out but there's something he said that caught my attention which is the fact that he said they don't need to leave nigeria they have a lot of stake they have a lot of resources in nigeria and they have quite a lot of their numbers in diaspora and they feel they have all it takes to stay and remain in nigeria so but he's also looking at the fact that instead of thinking of going out can we not just carry this whole matter go see the presidency go see the president let's dialogue looking for justice let's look for dialogue now looking for justice and he's saying don't forget that he has been in in, in fact you know he has worked closely with president uh, president muhammad buhari so to a great extent i'm sure as a governor right now i'm bringing the issue of ipob now he's a bit closer one would say is a being state governor is he not also close to the president he is but um i guess this time around he's looking it with a need to see how he can resolve the issue of insecurity but he's also looking at the fact that it could also be political even though they have they have their illustrious sons still behind um the dss custody let's fill the pause on nigeria this one here is saying the only credible interrogation of biafra issue is referendum every other approach is cosmetic sovereignty belongs to the people and what the people want prevails not what few in the rogue government wants mm. so people are appreciating what uh, uh, the first person said he said yes correct so another person said the rightful approach to indigenous people of biafra and eastern security network is referendum thank you mr new governor <laughs> they're responding bit by bit this one here is saying we want to know your worth at the end of the day if you prove yourself an outstanding equality equality professor we non evils to rally around and call our presidential candidate after your assignment as governor this one is a referendum is what will solve the problems of insecurity in the southeast and south south region the governors evil chieftains bishops and presidency should beat about should beat about the bush knowing fully well what will solve okay shouldn't beat about the bush knowing fully well what will solve the problem once and for all the earlier they do it the better for them all this one here is saying what is the advantage of indigenous people of Biafra to our youth? A leader fight, just look at Ukraine president. IPB leader run away, just only to attack yet, refuse to come back and fight. It's time Biafra youth open their eyes, let the leaders lead the fight. What is this one saying? I guess it's actually saying the opposite of what everyone is saying here. Oh, no, but everybody is entitled to their opinion. What the leader is saying in Russia is everybody come out, let's make Southeast work. We don't need to go through. Uh, he doesn't. Technically, it's not totally in support of having a separate country, but he still believes that this is injustice that brought the agitation to Biafra to fall. And he's willing that if all stakeholders can come out, they should dialogue together. He will take it personally and, you know, to the presidency so that they could look into it with justice. That's where we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in that conversation. Also, take.